baby be for a little while. You'll find someone to bring you back. And Grandma will have company again. What happened to the last company we had? Oh, he went home after a while. But come on, let's say it. Where do you live? At 67 Tivoli Road. No, that was the last place. Your address is now 120 Claridge Street. I forgot. All right. Now, come on. Let's say it again. Where do you live? 120 Claridge Street. And again? 120. What do you think, Holmes? Well, we'll know definitely in an hour's time. Come on. I see. And where do you live? I live at 120 Claridge Street. I'm lost. Oh, dear, dear, dear. That would mistake you. Ho! Oh, come along, then. You must come in and try some of my divinity fudge. It's the least I can offer you for your kindness in bringing Francis home. Well, that's very kind of you, but really I ought to be getting along. It's just been made. Delicious. You'll make an old woman very happy if you'll try the first slice. Oh, very well, then. I am rather partial to divinity, but... <laughs> Francis. <laughs> Thank you. Now, come and sit right here at the table. Thank you. Now, say good night to the kind gentleman, then off to bed. Grandma, you never let me stay up with the company. <laughs> That's because little girls must have their sleep. But now we've met the gentleman, perhaps he'll come again in the daytime. Will you? I should love to. Mm. Good night. Good night. Good night, birdies. Isn't she a lovely girl? And she'll grow up into a beautiful woman and have a life of ease. Yes, that's the important thing. A life of ease. Time to enjoy the world and... Here, you're waiting for some fudge and I'm prattling away. Here it is. And a glass of cold milk to go with it. Won't you join me? Oh, no. My doctor would never permit it. I only prepare this sort of thing for people who drop in, like you. I see. Mm, smells very good. If I have one speciality, it's divinity fudge. You'll find it heavenly. <laughs> to give the birds a bit first. Don't! Birds don't eat fudge. Oh, yes, they do. They love it. Come on, old chap. Have a No, you can't. Who are you? I'll take that, Mrs. Enid. Thank you. I needed money for the child. That's why I did it. I didn't want her to grow up into a tired rag of a charwoman. I wanted her to have a life of ease and the things I've seen other people have. You understand? Yes. Will she be taken care of? You need her, Mrs. Enid. Mm. 
I wish now I hadn't tried to poison you. You might have visited us again as you promised. And we'd have been such good friends. <laughs> <laughs> 